Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Pastor B. I know by now you've heard all the concern about the coronavirus. A few weeks ago, our medical ministry gave us some insights as to how we can keep ourselves healthy and safe in the midst of all of this. However, our leaders on the government and medical community levels have asked that we limit our gatherings of people to reduce the possibility of the spread of the virus. So as a result of this, the session of St. James decided to suspend all activity at St. James uh, until further notice. That includes all worship and ministry meetings and programming. Now, we never like to suspend church and activity. However, we are reminded in Psalm 46 verse one that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. And because God can be reached anywhere, even if the church closes its doors for a moment, we can still connect with God and still be the church. So we'll be okay. So how do we proceed? The pastoral staff will be continuing to deliver spiritual nurture via email, Facebook, and YouTube. We will offer meditations via Facebook at 11 a.m. on Sunday mornings, as well as on Wednesdays at noon. And on Wednesdays at 6.30, you will also receive some encouragement via Facebook. Or however, it may or may not be live. It may be recorded and sent to you. On Sunday nights, we will be uh, looking to start a conference call for prayer so that anyone can call in. And the conference call number will be given out on Sunday mornings. Pastor Cece will still be giving us Cece's Corner on every Friday to keep us encouraged. And our social media team will be keeping us abreast of what's going on at St. James. Now, while the church office is closed, the staff and the leaders are busy at work. Your shepherd leaders will be reaching out to you to check on you. Uh, and as always, they are your first connection to the church. Our deacons are giving special attention to the members who are sick and shut in, and they'll be reaching out. And the church staff and the trustees will be checking on the church every day and checking the mail every day and checking the phones every day to keep us connected. Again, we are reminded by Psalm 46, that God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. In other words, no matter what comes our way, God has us and all will be well. So pray for one another, check on one another. The pastors, deacons, trustees, and elders are praying for you. See you soon.